Like you see on the mob, right? You see the mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Wow. Hey, this is super interesting. Many of you, I am sure, remember the things that Donald Trump said about people who plead the fifth, right? Do you guys remember this? Fifth Amendment. Bob. The mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Right. Why would if you if you have nothing to hide, if you're innocent, you wouldn't invoke the Fifth Amendment against self-incrimination. However, we have now learned that both Alex Jones, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones and Donald Trump's own son, Eric Trump, invoked their Fifth Amendment right hundreds of times during their testimony to the January 6th Trump riot committee report from Business Insider. Far right conspiracy theorist Alex Jones pleaded the Fifth Amendment almost 100 times before the January 6th committee. What? I thought only guilty people did that. Alex Jones, a far right conspiracy theorist and host of Infowars, invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self incrimination almost 100 times while testifying Monday before the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot. Jones made the revelation during his broadcast that evening, and his remarks were first reported by Politico. As you might recall, Jones spoke at the Stop the Steal rally headlined by Trump on January 6th. CNN reported Jones was intricately involved in planning the event. Uh, and The Wall Street Journal reported Jones helped secure a three hundred thousand dollar donation for the rally's costs and offered more than 50 grand of his own money to choose his speaking slot. Eric Trump also uh, invoking Eric Trump invoked Fifth Amendment about 500 times. Now, this is in a different probe. This is in the um, uh, New York Attorney General probe uh, article from a few days ago. Eric Trump invoked the Fifth Amendment more than 500 times. Can you imagine when the Trump Organization EVP was deposed as part of a civil probe into the company's asset valuation. The second son answered only background questions under oath and cited his constitutional right to avoid incriminating himself in response to more than 500 questions over six hours. Uh, if you only need to look to Donald Trump to get an understanding of what it means when one invokes the Fifth Amendment, remember? Her staffers taking the Fifth Amendment. How about that? And her ringleaders getting immunity is now. She has people taking the Fifth Amendment. Four people plus the guy who illegally did the server. You know, he put in the illegal server. Uh oh. So there are five people taking the Fifth Amendment, like you see on the mob, right? You see the mob takes the Fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Wow. Interesting question. And then they read a whole list of charges. She's guilty on every one of them. And then what do they say? But that's OK. And yet other people. Yeah. So you guys get the point by Donald Trump's own perspective, by his own statement, pleading the fifth is an indication of guilt. Now, I have to tell you, part of this is just the cartoony and hypocritical nature, right? They're pleading the fifth and Trump says you're guilty. The the other aspect to this is um, it actually is a really important constitutional reality in the United States that not speaking your innocence cannot be used against you. And so the first part is the cartoonish hypocrisy where I'm sure if you said to Trump, sir, in 2017 or whenever you said pleading the fifth means you're guilty. But your your son pleaded the fifth 500 times. He would say, well, no, but he's being railroaded in a witch hunt. So it would be different. That would be one piece. But the other thing is they claim to be all about the Constitution. They claim to be all about the Bill of Rights, due process and all of these things, suggesting that pleading the fifth is an indication of guilt violates all of that. So as usual, their stated principle that they are the primary defenders of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and due process and then they love this idea of if you plead the fifth, you're guilty violates that as well. It shouldn't surprise us. Their principles are of no importance whatsoever. Once the principles are inconvenient 
to the point that they want to get across. You can support the David Pakman show by supporting our sponsors. And one of those sponsors is sheath underwear. Traditional underwear involves sticking, sweating, the dreaded chafing sheath underwear are boxer briefs specifically designed to keep everything separate, cool, dry and comfortable. They have a bunch of great designs, options to choose from more minimal styles. Their signature geometric pattern waistband is cool. There's really something for everybody. But the most important thing is you stay cool during the day and at night, upping your comfort to the next level. Read the reviews online. Sheath underwear has been a game changer for many men. Give it a try. They have super fast shipping. You'll get your order in just a few days. And don't forget that you'll get 20 percent off when you go to sheathunderwear.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below. Like you see on the mob, right? You see the mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Wow. 